What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we are going to be making this game where we can draw with the pen tool. As you can see, we have a pen that can basically draw. I'm starting a new series and this is the pen tutorial that I am going to start. So, I have an erase button over here. I have a pen tool and I have a variable for the pen size so without further ado let's get started first let's create a new project in order to do this pen project we need to add the pen extension so over here you need to click this button over here that says add extension so we will choose the pen extension first We'll call this Sprite Pen. And I'm going to call this project Pen Game. So in our pen sprite, we're going to create a new sprite, new costume. And it's go just going to be a dot. And this dot is not going to do anything. Because we are just going to basically hide it. So when green flag is clicked, we are going to hide the pen. And we will erase everything from the screen. So it'll look like that. Next we will make a variable called pen size. When the green flag is clicked, we are going to set pen size to 10. And make sure you right click on this and say slider. So next we want to get a forever loop and an if else statement. If mouse down, then we are going to put the pen down, else we will put the pen up. And we need a, a go to mouse pointer. So as you can see now, we can draw with the pen. And I'm just going to set some values here. I'm going to set the pen color to black. And forever, we are going to set pen color to our variable pen. I mean, pen size to our variable pen size. Like that. So if our pen size is 100, then it will be one, our pen, it will be 100. But if it's like 10, it will be 10. And you can just basically make this value anything you want. So the person who's playing this game, well, can change the value. So now let's add an erase button. So let's create a new sprite and let's call it erase button. This button will erase anything from the screen. So I have an erase button over here from my backpack. I made it from pixel, so it will look like this. So first, when the green flag is clicked, we want our button to be right here. So we will go to there. Then let's get a forever loop and an if else statement. If touching mouse pointer, then we are going to change our size by 120 minus size divided by 3. So it should look like this. So it's just basically making it bigger smoothly though. Now I'll duplicate this but instead change this to 100. So if we play it now, it looks like that. And we want to set our brightness effect to 30, else we're going to set our brightness effect back to zero. So it'll look like this. And then inside the if statement, we'll do another if. This time we'll do if mouse down, then we will basically erase everything. So let's draw something real quick. 
And then let's press this button and it basically erases everything. So now what if we want color? Color, we will do basically the same thing. Let's make a new variable and let's call it pen color. So we're going to set pen color to let's say 10 for now. And instead of setting the pen color to that black, we are going to set pen color to our pen color variable. And make sure it's a slider too. So our pen colors are 100. We have like this dark blue here. And then basically, yeah. But all you see is just blue. And we don't want that. So what you can do is right click on this and say change slider range. We'll change it from 1000 to negative 1000. Now if we apply our project, we have this lighter blue color. And you can just basically change the values if you want. If you want, but we're just going to stick with this for now. And I know sometimes you, you only can see blue and you only can see yellow and black. So we will fi fix that in the next tutorial. But for now, this is it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.